Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here, and I'm doing a layout today that showcases pro premium products on the scrapasketch.com website. And today I'm working with, and here it is, spring. Uh, spring has almost sprung in my part of the country, but I'm uh, scrapbooking winter because the photographs were taken in February. It was very much winter time, and I had already selected this um, product line to use for these photos, um, and, and I filtered the photos to complement the colors so that the, the background colors in the photo would go with the colors in the collection. And you can see I have fussy cut some of the elements out, the ones I'm going to use today. I cut the bottom from a tag, but it left me with this cute little um, snow gnome, so I'm going to use him. And I've uh, used these two pattern papers. I am going to hold these handy because there may be a couple elements I want to use from those. And I hate that I didn't use this um, paper with all the trees, but I have another uh, layout that I think I'm going to use for that. And this line is called Winter's Tail. And it's beautiful pastel colors, which are usually not my jam, but these somehow have a, um, I don't know, a very soothing, wonderful quality about them. I'm also using a scrap of sketch stencil, and I've already stenciled this top part. I'm going to show you how these stencils can be used together uh, to look like you had one long stencil. The, uh, the designs are made so that they mesh into one another. And I'm doing this on this, um, I I'm using one of the premium sketches at Scrap a Sketch. And instead of a pattern paper strip down this side, I'm doing this uh, light uh, mixed media. and and kind of varying the intensity in different places so that it's not all the same. You can kind of see that it's, it's a little bit different there. So I'm going to put that aside. I use speckled egg, which is the perfect color to kind of go with the muted pastels we have going on here. I'm going to put a, um, a strip of foam on my photos, behind my photos, and I have distressed the edges of all of the um, the pieces of paper here, and I'm going to add, because I kind of like black accents with um, pastel colors, I'm going to use a black washi tape that has a white stitch on it. I'm not sure how this is going to look, and I haven't ever used this washi tape before. I use the white with stitches, but that's kind of what that looks like. So when we get all this put together, we'll see how that works out. So let me pull my embellishments and journaling off, and I'll get this um, kind of design going here. I've got um, two by two inch squares at the top and the bottom, and I'm going to put them on so that they just butt right up to where the design is and because it's the same all the way down everything should line up those are the what are famous last words i suppose and i'm just kind of butting them together but i may you know kind of distress things once i get the photos down and the embellishments down just to make sure that they fit 
and there's not too much dimension there. And I've used the lavender kind of snowy paper for most of these, and then I'm going to come across with a pink one. The lavenders just fit kind of right there with a tiny little and then my photo is going to go like this so I'm going to put some more foam under here in order to um, lift it up to match the, the thickness that's created by that paper. So let me do this. That should work. Okay, let me get this down. Now that it's down, before I put the photo on, is when I want to do well, you know, I can't turn it up like that because the, I'm using the washi tape. I'm hoping that this is a good idea. <laughs> Let's see how, what we think. Let's see what the general opinion is. It looks like I sewed down a black strip of cloth or ribbon or something. Right? And I'm going to repeat that over on the side here. I have two pieces of paper that are going to um, be fused together. and get put down over along the side here. Let me space it properly. I've got paper crumbs everywhere. Let's see if that works. Okay, and you can't even see where it joined together there. Okay, and Let's do another washi tape strip just I'm going to do it over on this edge and I'm going to snip it just a little past the ends. Nope, I'm going to snip it at the end because that one is snipped at the end. Okay. And I don't care that that one has a little angle to it. There's a fair amount of, of um, you know, black or really dark blue in here so that that black doesn't look out of place. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to go here. And you could use a, a horizontal photo, just anything that you wanted. Now this is the top part of the tag that had the little gnome and I'm going to place it, oops, there goes my washi tape roll. I'd better get it off the floor or it'll end up getting swept up and and lost. <laughs> okay, there. All right, that is on there. My journaling, I thought I'd like to um, kind of highlight it. I'm actually going to move my photo up a bit because I want 
this one, um, this paper strip right there to kind of frame that. Although, I have these little banner pieces. Let me distress them to kind of match everything else. And let me see if I can do something that will, let's say we put this down here. And I don't have a title. I'm thinking just the word hello. And so I'm going to go on a hunt for, um, through all my titles, for something that says hello in black. Okay, so I can do this kind of behind it and this in front of it. That really highlights it a lot. So let me put that down right there. And I'll distress this. And it's photo paper, so it'll distress nicely. I love how the the stencil looks. It's it's I intentionally made it a different color from the um, the lavender and the pink. There we go. And then we use the lavender kind of on top of this. And I can write um, the date on there. Okay, now let's do some embellishing. I want to use these flowers, the um, kind of pastel poinsettias. When they're in pastel, it doesn't necessarily have a Christmassy look. That's what I'm counting on. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it again. Uh, let's see. I'll do this. And then I'll, I, I want to put the two cups of coffee or hot chocolate together because they're uh, kind of something you might do with the cookies that you buy at Ava's cookie shop. And I'm going to put this one on foam and I'll kind of overlap the other one or maybe underlap it. Let me kind of scooch that in there. I kind of like it over, so I'm going to put another foam dot behind it and kind of do that. I have to get these backings off. They end up everywhere. And I don't want them in the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Just between you and me. Okay, so now I'd really like a tag or a label there. T 
to kind of back this. Let me get the journaling ephemera. Ooh, a circle. There's a chance to use that paper, but I think I'm going to do this that color that color I'm gonna go with the gray and I probably should cut this out with my trimmer to make sure that the lines are straight but I'm gonna distress the edges so you won't be able to tell whether they were straight or not. That's my story on any time I fussy cut something that's supposed to be straight, you'll notice that it ends up distressed on my page. Okay, so I can do that kind of across there. I want it to be exactly across from that. And it's the same two inch height, so it works out perfectly. I'm going to put this little guy down. I had to put a a penguin with a fuzzy hat. And if you add flowers to it, it doesn't look like a, a holiday layout, right? <laughs> more backings. These things are sure handier than trying to find my tape roll and all that. Now I have done some pinching. I cut the the flower petals down towards the center and then I kind of curled them up so let the penguin be peeking out from behind those. And now let me run through my Bramble Fox titles and see if I have anything. Um, not there. I have a wintry title. This one says Ah, I'm going to just use the one that says Frosty Days because it's the right color blue. And then I'm going to make or find a black, either a word strip or a... Uh, title kind of thing. I'm going to put that there and and add the word hello and I'm probably going to put it on top of this the white part of that tag. So let me put these back away. I've just reorganized things after Calvin Ball and I'm happy to say that I <laughs> at, at the moment, I know where everything is, which is not a usual state of things. And it's important, especially when I'm filming videos, that I be able to reach stuff from my table. So we'll put that there. And then I have these two hearts which I was thinking of putting down here, just kind of in the field, but I want them on foam, maybe not 
the dots. Let's go with, and I picked the blue that matches that blue background. Um, and it also matches the title now, so that's awesome. I'll just put that there. And this one. here and we've got our overlapping hearts and all I need is to find the um, the word hello and if I don't find it I've got little tiny alphas that I can put it on there with but I would like for that to have a black accent either a black background with white hello on it or uh, a thick thick black printing so that's the only thing I'm going to look for. And I thank you for watching and I invite you to check out um, scrappasketch.com. And if you use my code, ScrappyCathy10, uh, all together, um, you will get a 10% a discount on uh, stencils and printables. And you can check the amazing price that Lisa has on the um, premium sketches, the premium sketch subscription. So that is certainly worth looking into. It's very reasonably priced and what you get is just amazing. It's, it's what you get is a good, bit of, of inspiration that'll kind of get you off uh, off dead center or out of any scrapping uh, doldrums you might be in. They're beautiful sketches. So thank you for watching and yes, Scrappy Kathy made a pastel page. So yay. Thank you, Lisa, for these gorgeous supplies and um, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Bye. See you next time.